A lot can change over 53 years. Players come and go. Records are set and broken. Stadiums and fields change. Even the mascot changes too. But one man enamored with the game of baseball in the town of Tallahassee has been the one thing that has remained consistent at Florida State. I have more friends call me 11 than they do Mike, Meathead, or anything else. <laughs> Mike Martin, or 11 as he's better known, has been at Florida State as a player, an assistant coach, and for the last 38 years as head coach. As a native of North Carolina, he grew up playing America's pastime. He would then move his talents to Tallahassee in 1965, and the rest, as they say, is history. When I came to Florida State as a full-time coach, it just continued to engulf me with the people, the way that others saw this great university. The biggest thing of Mike Martin is consistency. He doesn't, doesn't get up, doesn't get down as much as as far as the teaching, and he's a great teacher. And that's why people have asked me, how long is he going to go? I said, he loves what he's doing. He loves to teach these kids. And that's the, the teaching the great game of baseball. That's what he loves to do. And his students of the game are always receptive to his lessons on life and baseball. The relationship built between Eleven and his players have only added to his legacy. Just how, like, he pays attention to the small details. I feel like that a lot of people overlook, and I think it's kind of what you need to do. He also has the confidence in you to get it done. He has confidence in every one of his guys, and, you know, that's why this program has been so successful for the past 40 years. Now, I think I'm a little better at understanding this kid just needs more reps at this particular phase of the game that we're trying to cover. And, that's helped me a lot in realizing, hey, give the guy a break. He's trying the best he can to get off of him. Aside from being a man of the game, Eleven is also a dedicated family man. His son, Mike Martin Jr., also a former FSU baseball player, has been his father's assistant coach and recruiting coordinator for the past 21 years. As for his wife, says Eleven, no one has been more supportive than his lovely Carol Martin. My wife is, is the most special person in my life. She's a Christian lady that delivers meals on wheels, that goes to the hospital uh, and, and looks after children. It's still fun to come home every night knowing that she's going to be there waiting. Over the years, Eleven has accumulated a number of accolades. One of his greatest achievements comes as he looks for win number 1,976, making him the winningest coach in college baseball history. But down the line, Eleven will be remembered for so much more than a win total. Uh, kind of like I said before, just, just self-confidence, really, just being able to believe in yourself and not doubt anything. I feel like that's like one of his biggest things that he's put on me. You know, you learn something new every day from whether it's on the field, off the field, defense, offense, pitching, you know, in the dugout. It's just amazing. And I'm so glad that I could play for him. Probably my favorite memory is when uh, last year on the video board they played the we're going back thing. Got it! Let the celebration begin. The Knolls are headed back to Omaha. What are you doing? <laughs> According to Eleven, what draws others to Tallahassee is the people. And I think many would agree that Mike Martin is certainly one of those people. I always want to be the man that the man counted on. Now, just coming to work for a man you love, you do anything for him, he knows it, he's not afraid to ask. That's what, to get the man what he wants because he's the man. I want people to say Eleven did it the right way. I just want people to know that Florida State doesn't owe me anything. I owe everything 
to Florida State. And I want people to know that, and I want people to know that we tried to do it the right way. I'm Chris Camacho for Seminole Sports Magazine.